Hello beautiful and welcome to today's video. My name is Cosmina and in today's video you're gonna get to know me a little bit better hopefully by the, the end of this video and also by the end of this video hopefully I convince you to subscribe to give this video a thumbs up and to continue to watch this channel. So let's get into it. my phone I have 25 questions ready to go through but I also have a bunch of makeup in front of me that I want to put on my face so I'm gonna answer each question while I apply makeup on my face hopefully this is not gonna take forever um, I hope I'm hoping uh, <laughs> we shall see how it's gonna go but I'm gonna start first of all I'm gonna start with this glowish uh, multi dew skin tint and I'm gonna apply this on my face as a primer because I uh, feel like this is a really nice under the foundation primer because this one has a really nice glow to it and it's gonna look nice under the foundation that I think I'm gonna put on today so let's proceed with the first question shall we let's just start this uh, game uh, what is your uh, full name well my name is Cosmina Georgiana so my full name is Cosmina Georgiana Bartels Georgiana it's a name that I don't use and if you call me by that name I don't think I will ever answer it because I will be like, huh? No, my name is not that. Uh, and nobody ever called me Georgiana, ever. So, uh, yeah, that's my name. Next thing here, what zodiac, zodiac sign are you? And I am a Taurus. I don't know if you can tell, I guess. I am a Taurus, I'm very stubborn, and um, I don't know, I'm like a hothead sometimes, but I do, I'm also not a hothead in the same time. That makes sense? I'm not sure if it makes sense. So for the foundation, we're going to go with Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. I have not played with this one in a while. And uh, last time when I tried it, I didn't like it that much because it was a little bit drying on my face. Of course, the color, it's not the best color either. But I uh, think this glowish thing from uh, um, Huda is going to help it a lot. So that's why I'm trying it today with it to see how it's going to look like. Who is your best friend? Uh, so my best friend is a girl that I grew up with. Um, we have known each other since we were, oh, I don't know, three, I guess, three, four or something like that. Uh, she used to live at the countryside where my grandmother used to live. And we would see each other almost all the time, like weekends and uh, vacations and stuff like that. And um, we grew up together. We did a lot of crazy things together. And uh, when she was 18, I believe, she left and moved to Greece. And uh, we continue to stay best friends even now, like... We talk through, we talk on the phone and uh, things like that. So uh, yeah, it is a friendship that I think this is the longest friendship I ever had, but it's one that I appreciate absolutely, completely. Uh, I can trust to tell her everything and anything, and I know she will understand me the best. Like we we have our own little little quirky things uh, in our friendship, and I know for sure that anytime I want to uh, share something, she will not judge me, and she will be uh, she will give me her very very honest opinion about everything. 
And if you don't have friends like that, then why do you have friends in the first place? Like, if you just have a friend to just kiss your ass and just say, agree with you 24-7, then, uh, I don't know. I think you should, like, make sure that is a good friendship or not. Because a good friend is the one that is going to tell you exactly how shit is. And it's going to just spit it in your face and be like, this is what I think it is without having any sort of like um, bad intentions or things like that. All right, so 40 under eyes. I am going to go, uh, I think I'm just going to go with this one. Yeah, this is Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. And I'm just going to add this nicely under the eye. And uh, let's proceed with the next question. How do you feel right now? Oh, wow. That's, that's, <laughs> that question is, uh, is a hard question to, to ask because I don't know how I feel right now. Like I've been, I've been dealing with a lot of things lately and I know I don't necessarily talk about it. Maybe sometimes it shows Maybe it doesn't show. I have no idea. But I've been dealing with a lot of things lately. And uh, I don't know how to feel about where I am and what's happening right now in my life. Like, I am just a little bit confused, I would say. 2020 has been one of the worst times of my life. And uh, 2020, it continued a lot in 2021. And I just don't know how I feel right now. I am still trying to figure it out. I'm trying to process some information, such as like my sister is, all, uh, is pregnant for the second time. Uh, we have decided to um, move on, move forward with our wedding uh plans because our wedding was supposed to happen seven years ago we postponed it the first time because my papers were not ready for us to travel and then uh, when we postponed it back then we said we're gonna do it in one or two years unfortunately that didn't happen because a lot of other things happened and uh, we were just patiently waiting and then in 2019 because 2019 was one of the best years for us for me and my husband and uh, we decided you know what we're just gonna do it in 2020 2020 days we're gonna have this wedding and then afterwards we're gonna have um a baby because uh, that's been in plans for a year 2020 was the baby year but because 2020 was how it was we decided to postpone every single plan that we had for that year and uh hopefully retake it this year right and uh, it's it's still not a good time because nothing is back how it used to be right so we have no idea how this wedding is gonna go we have no idea who is gonna show up we have no idea what's gonna happen um and we invested a lot of money into it so we just kind of have to like kind of wing it and and just go with whatever outcome is gonna come out of this unfortunately kind of kind of lingers a little bit on the 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 fact that you know we this is supposed to be a happy moment I it's not that I wasn't I'm not married because we've been married for many years and <laughs> now six six and a half years and uh we're doing this for like a, a celebration in Romania, um, which is kind of like a ceremony party and stuff like that. And I'm doing it more so for my parents, but also for myself, because after all, I should get that wedding as well. Um, and just kind of like celebrate with my friends and my family and everybody be there. Here wasn't, nobody was here from my family when we had our little ceremony. So it's important for me to have it done. Um, when we were supposed to have it done for the first time, my grandmother 
was still alive. Unfortunately, she passed away in 2018, so she's not going to be with us. So that feels, again, like a very, very hard to swallow, <laughs> you know? It's, it's just... There's just a lot of moving things that I wish everything was much better and we were in much better position, even financially, to be able to enjoy all this party that is going to come in our way. And hopefully some of my friends are going to be able to join us while we're doing this. So for my under eyes and also I'm going to apply it all over my eyes, I'm going to go with Derma Blend. The Professional Illuminating Banana Powder, that looks like this. What is your current relationship status? Married. I'm married. I've been married for a while. I've been, uh, I'm happily married <laughs> right now. So that's where we're at. What's your favorite movie? Ooh, girl. I don't know so here's how I am when it comes to movies like if <laughs> my husband can attest this and <laughs> just can tell you that it's very annoying to take me to movies <laughs> I am I am very annoying when it comes to that all right let's do this the brows I'm gonna do the brows while I'm talking about this this is lift and snatch from NYX so here's the thing. I a lot of times I feel that the movies that we watch they're all kind of the same. So anything that kind of makes me not guess how it's going to end after 10 minutes of watching the video the movie I'm going to say that's a good movie. But those are only a handful uh a handful <laughs> A handful of them you know there's not that many that I cannot guess how it's gonna end like when we go to movies my I, I immediately tell my husband oh this watch this is what's gonna end this is what the problem is gonna be blah 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 again one of those stupid ass movies that uh, some happy ending and uh, you know like all this the, you know the story is always a girl there's always a love story there's always somebody against the relationship and then at the end it's like a magic happens all the problems all solved and they get to live happily ever after <laughs> so that's you know that's that's how come how I feel about a lot of things Uh, a lot of, about a lot of uh, movies, you know what I mean? But one that I would say kind of had a huge impact on me and kind of like made me question a lot of things um, was Saw. If you've seen Saw, like the crazy one, the murder one, the horror movie one, you know what I'm saying? Like, that show, holy mother, wow. Intense. But what kind of made me question was like, who the hell had all these ideas to torture people? And is he a sociopath? Like, how it... Mm, Right? Isn't it like questioning all your existence? Is it how? How do you how do you come up with something like that? How? I'm just asking. How? Let's move on to another question. How tall are you? Simple five two. Uh, what is your favorite song oh yeah i don't know i love so many songs like depends of the mood i'm in that's what it depends of the song right some days like i would be in the mood for something really 
crazy and funny. Some days I want something for my soul. Some days I want something for like a dance move. I so I just don't know. I don't. I, don't, I just. I don't know what to tell you right now. I can tell you some of my favorite artists. So James Arthur is one of them. He is a um, from UK, a UK singer. And I really, really love the intensity in his voice. By the way, I'm going with this bronzer from uh, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in Cappuccino. And... That is one of my favorite artists. Of course, Adele is like mm, so amazing. She is freaking amazing. And then I love, um, let me just think, right? Ed Sheeran, it's another one that I really love. Um, pink. Oh, yeah. I love pink. I love pink in all her areas. Like, I love the crazy pink. I love the soft pink. I love more the mature pink. I love pink in every song she puts out. I just love it. I love it. Um, I don't know. I think these are, I would say, the ones that I listen a lot. And then I also I listen to a lot of 1960s music. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's it. Three things you love. Three things I love, huh? Definitely I love makeup. I love history. I love anything about history. I just like love to know stuff. I love to see stuff. And also I love to travel. Uh, so there you have it. Three things loves. Uh, three things that upset you. Uh, politics, hate, and aggression. Um, three things that makes you happy. Food. <laughs> you didn't expect me to say that, were you? Uh, I love, yes, food does make me happy. If it's a really nice, good, delicious food, it makes me happy happy so definitely food um anything let's see definitely travel makes me happy like if we go somewhere and um ex get to experience new things makes me happy and of course money makes me happy there you go i said it i said it <sighs> what is your favorite food? Oh, here we go. Um, I can't tell you necessarily that I have a favorite food. Again, it's like music. Depends on what I'm in the mood for. I do love Chinese food. I love ramen. I love a bunch of Romanian dishes. Um, and I just... I love food in general. I love good food in general. I don't like sweet food. I like more... I like soul food, but without any sugar. Um, I love ribs, but with any freaking that gross-ass barbecue sauce on it. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty much that's what it is. What is your celebrity crush? So my celebrity crush has been my celebrity crush for a very long time. So I know he is old and he is kind of old for me, but I just think that he is the most beautiful man I have ever seen. Okay, you ready to know? Are you ready? That's George Corn. I know, you would not think that I would ever say that, right? But Josh Clooney is just beautiful. And not just on the outside, but also on the inside. I feel like he's such a, a nice man. Such a nice man. I, I actually kind of teared up a little bit when he married uh, his wife. But 
Let's just not talk about that. Let's continue on. How many tattoos or piercing do you have? None. It's <laughs> simple. I have uh, zero, zero, zero. Okay, let's go with this um, blush from Cover FX. Is uh, this is in spice cinnamon? So I combined the two. Just kind of put it right up here. Mm, I love this blush. So pretty. Yeah, I uh, I try to have one piercing in my lip. I think yes um because that was the big thing back when i was in high school and uh, my boyfriend at the time he was not a fan so he was like why would you do that and he kind of talked me out of it so i never never done any any of them afterwards but tattoos i have never been interested in tattoos my dad was heavily against it and he was very outspoken about it and uh, shared with us that he would not want to see something like that on our bodies at least not while we still live under his roof and after that I really was not interested in getting it so I never got it never all right, what are your turn-ons? Well, we're going to talk about that while we're going to play with this eyeshadow palette. This is from ColourPop. This is the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. And I think I'm just going to go for something simple over here. I'm just not going to tell you exactly what I use, but I probably you're going to be able to see while I'm using them. So, turn on. Um... Okay, so turn on what I really, really like about a guy, especially, that turns me on. It is clean cut, shaved, crisp clothes, like a nice suit attire, or if it's not a suit, then I would say maybe polo shirt or maybe a blazer or something like that. That just kind of makes me, ugh mouth water well you know but my husband doesn't wear that so here we go <laughs> he says that's for um crazy europeans he because he is not european he was um born and raised here so he considered that too european and it's not for him you know uh but uh, another thing that I would say turns me on is the fact that you just kind of listen. Like you just, you listen and you act based on the things that you hear, not on things that you think I may like. You know what I mean? Like you actually listen to things that I'm saying. Um, and... Let me see, another thing that turns me on. Oh, good food. Yeah, if you just bring me like really good food. Boy, oh boy, you are a winner. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, this. Uh, I think that's how my husband uh, made me fall for him because of the good food. <laughs> no, he's not a chef. He took me to good restaurants. All right, next, what turns you off? Ooh, uh, it turns me off, man, men that wear jewelry, like heavy jewelry. Eesh, no. Not my thing, okay? Not my thing that just, no. Uh, mus muscular guys like a lot of muscles like a lot of like ah testosterone I'm muscles king whoa whoa ew no 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 um and let me see rude like if you're rude you know like who wants to deal with that like if you're rude with anybody which do you prefer, scary movie or happy ending? So remember I was talking about it earlier. 
Um, no, I would, I would definitely have to go with, uh, I like both. Like, let me tell you, like, I do like both, but I just want some sort of an ending, like understanding exactly how that movie turned out to be. You know what I mean? When I don't have an ending, <laughs> when it's just that, like, let me guess what happened that annoys me okay so i would say i like both there's some scary movies that are, i think they're stupid but um i would say both yeah definitely both i like both which do you prefer a computer or a television i don't know i think you can use a tv as a computer so I don't know. I don't I don't care that much about technology to be honest with you. Like which and what and how and where. Like I embrace any type of technology, new technology, but it's not something that makes me like, oh you know, shaking my boots or whatever. Like I'm excited about it. It's the same with TVs, like I'm not interested to have the biggest TV, I'm not interested to have the craziest TV, I'm not interested in all that, that's all my husband, he is the one, he's the tech person in the house, I'm not. Alright, what is your favorite perfume? Dolce Cabana Light Blue, amazing perfume, unfortunately I don't have it. I went into Ulta the other day and I smell it and I was like, oh, I want it back, I want it back in my life, I want it back in my life. Uh, but definitely that is one of my favorites perfume because it's a really nice citrusy, fresh smell. Love that. When was the last time you cried? The last time I cried, I think it was last week. Yeah, I think it was last week. Uh, I cried because last last week was, or maybe two weeks ago, was when we finally decided, you know, we're going to do the wedding and we starting doing some certain preparation about it. And then it hit me that my grandmother is not going to be there to um, enjoy it and... That just kind of put me in a crying mood. Usually I'm not a crier, um, but certain things like that do make me tear up sometimes. Can you cook? Uh, yes. I can cook. Now, do I like to cook? No. <laughs> uh, do I cook? Yes. But do I like it? No, I don't enjoy it. I don't understand how people do enjoy it, but I mean, each with its own, you know. My mom is like, she loves, she just loves to cook. She she says that when she cooks, is like her relaxing time. I'm like, oh, geez, why are you so weird? But yeah, I don't, I don't like it. I'd rather clean because that's what i do when i'm in a in a bad mood or i'm annoyed and i'm angry i clean uh but yeah my uh my mom loves to cook do you speak any other languages aside from english uh yes i do i speak romanian i speak uh, Spanish, I understand French, I understand Italian, and also I understand a little bit of Greek. Yes, I know. A lot of languages, because I love languages. I studied languages in uh, college, so that's one of the reasons why. Do you miss anyone right now? Oh, dear, dear Lord. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> I miss... Um, I miss my grandmother, I miss my parents, I miss my sister, I miss seeing 
my best friend or maybe my other friends. I miss a lot of people. Yes. Yes, I do. I'm going with Big Ego Mascara. All right, let's answer what's your favorite TV show while I do my lipsticks. Uh, I'm going to go with this Maybelline. Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in 153. So, favorite, it has to be, I think, Grey's Anatomy. But this, this last season was, I don't know, it was weird. I don't like it that much. Uh, also... I love RuPaul's Drag Race. I also love uh, the challenge. I love Survivor and um, The Amazing Race. All right, so for the last question, I want to talk about why did I created this YouTube channel? Well, I'm going to do that explaining that while I'm putting this lipstick on. This is from Burst Bees. I think I only tried it once in a long time ago. And this is 524 in Wine Wave. It's a really dark lipstick. There we go. Mm, so pretty. So why did I create this YouTube channel. First of all, I created just to find more people that are passionate about makeup as much as I am. Also, I created because I was feeling alone. Uh, keep in mind, in this country, I came six years ago. I moved here without any friends, without any family, just my husband. And I knew only my husband and his family. That's it. Uh, so that kind of created a little bit like feeling alone and I'm that type of person that I actually do like to interact with people and I do like to have more of a conversation back and forth with people. Um, but that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to create an, a little area where we could talk about the makeup and most important I kind of wanted to share the 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 to share that passion for makeup and just kind of let you know that it's okay that if you like makeup it's okay to wear makeup and to just kind of inspire you to use makeup in a way that makes you feel good about yourself you know what I mean a lot of times I've uh, encountered here in the states that um a lot of people try to put you down if you wear makeup or they try to tell you that it's not necessarily very acceptable in certain towns or certain areas or certain uh places and that's just bs okay it's fucking bs all right let's just uh, stop with criticizing each other and just kind of embrace each other and embrace um beauty the way each of us sees it right if i feel that i look the most beautiful wearing five kilos of foundation then let me be me okay you're not paying for my five kilos of foundation i'm paying for it and i'm applying it okay i'm not i don't want to hear I don't want to hear. <laughs> and at the end, we're going to go with this pretty fresh ColourPop Hyaluronic Acid um, Mist. So I say, if you like somebody that has a nice, beautiful passion for makeup that appreciates you and that appreciate makeup to its value, then try then consider to subscribe to this channel 
and follow me into this beautiful journey into discovering more and more makeup and discovering more and more ways of applying makeup and there you have it this is the look that i created today while i was sharing a little bit about myself with you so if you want you can answer these questions in the description in the comment down section down below or you choose at least choose at least three choose at least three questions that you want to answer down below i would really love to hear your uh answer to some of these questions thank you so much for being here and staying with me for such a long video and I cannot wait to see you all next time. Bye now.